Hi, this is Alishana. Uh, you have seen the first video on setting up the Volcano SV truck. Today we bring it out because now we are going to actually start this baby and break in the engine. So today you are going to see uh, some very important steps, uh, beginning with uh, the glow plugs and installing the glow plug, priming the engine, refueling the uh, tank, refueling the car and starting the engine for the very first time. After that I'll show you the standard break-in procedure that actually takes five tanks to break in the engine. It sounds like boring but it's lots of fun I can tell you that. Take the shell off. Now first thing you need to do is install a glow plug. Usually the car comes with one glow plug. As you can see, there is one. Now that we have taken the glow plug out, allow me to uh, tell you what the glow plug is, what is their function, and how to check whether the glow plug is good or bad. Okay, we have taken this glow plug out. This is the new one, and this is the old one. I'm going to show you how to check if the glow plug is okay. Take your glow plug igniter and simply put it in your glow plug, just like this. When you press it down, you should see the coil glowing red. If it doesn't glow red, this means your glow plug is bad. You need to replace it with a new one. Let's check. Okay, the coil doesn't glow red. This means this one is bad. Let's check the new one. See, it glows, it glows red. So this means your glow plug is okay. Before starting the engine, it's always a good idea to use the fuel filter. You can put it on the fuel line going to your carburetor. So let us install the fuel filter here. It is very simple. Uh, just cut the fuel line. Make sure the one which is coming from the fuel tank. Cut it from here, from the center. Slide the one end of the fuel filter to one side and the other end on the other side. That's all. Now any dirt or any garbage or any big elephant in your fuel tank will simply get stuck here and your carburetor will be safe. Alright, because we're going to start the engine for the very first time, so I'm going to show you all the th steps. This is the Nitro 15%. You cannot just use your nitro can and fill the tank. You need to use the nitro bottle that actually came with your primary toolkit. Open the lid. It has a spring, so it will simply lock back there and fill. Do not overflow the tank. Hold your bottle this way, so when you tilt forward, the fuel will go in, tilt backward, you can easily cut off the fuel supply. Let me show you how to pull your pull starter. This pull starter does not have a very long cord. Well, this is the full length of the cord. Never pull the pull start this long or you will damage it. This is a very delicate pull start. It's a nitro car pull start. It's not a lawn mower. So don't pull it way up there. You need to pull it in short burst. First, see where it locks. Hold the car nice so it won't move and little bursts. That's enough. Do not pull it way up there. Once again, it's not a lawn mower. So, once again, pull a bit when you feel it's locking. Short burst. Alright. 
because you're starting the engine for the very first time, it's always a good idea to put a few drops of nitro into the carburetor directly. Uh, what you need to do is move the throttle servo by hand and full and open the carb full. Also, you can add a few drops of oil directly on top of the piston. This way, your engine will get well lubricated and you can start it very easily. Now, let us do it. Adding few drops of fuel into the carb. You can see the fuel is there. You can pull your starter so the fuel goes in. One more thing that you should remember is do not over tighten the glow plug or you will damage the sleeves in there and you won't be taking it out later and you will also damage the engine. You need to replace this whole block then. So uh, priming the engine is done. We block the exhaust and pull the starter. You can see the fuel is flowing here. Now let us start the car. You should always turn on the radio first and then turn on the receiver. You need to check the gap, the opening gap in the carb. See, I believe this is too much open, so if I start the engine now, the engine will rave. We need to close it a bit, so you can use your throttle trim. It should be about a millimeter open, not more, not more than that. Now, insert your glow igniter here, and pour. Coming out. In the beginning, it's always a good idea. 